Uh, no, I don't blame Kaepernick. Uh, and, and I really, I don't blame his protest. I think the ratings decline is very complicated. I think the, the expansion of the schedule, all these Thursday night games, Monday night games, uh, less 1 o'clock games feeding into uh, the 4 o'clock game Eastern time window. I think there's a lot of factors Trump. impacting the NFL. I, obviously, you know, and we've been talking about that for a long time. I, I think that there are a lot of factors. I, I do think Kaepernick and the unrest play a role in the overall spectrum of sports TV watching. Uh, but, but as it relates to the NFL, I, I think you can't single it down to Kaepernick. I think there are bigger narratives being driven by the media that are affecting... If, if, I blame the media more than Kaepernick. If Kaepernick played tomorrow night, the ratings would be much better than Blaine Gabbard. So the hypocrites who say, I don't watch because of Kaepernick, if he started next, tomorrow night, you'd watch. So I don't buy that. I think this, I've said this, I think 90% of it's Trump. All the Sunday show's ratings, through the roof. Meet the press, through the roof. George Stepanopoulos, record highs. And I think 10% of it is truly about something Jason McIntyre at the big lead touched on. We're going through a weird time. The old quarterbacks are getting old, and the young guys aren't as good as we thought. Even Andrew Luck now is struggling because of coaching, I believe, and organizational problems. This happened back in 99, 98 in year 2000. Aikman left, Elway left, Marino left, Steve Young left. And the new group of guys, the ratings plateaued. The new group weren't ready yet. In fact, mostly those guys, those legends were replaced by mediocre to below average quarterbacks. We need some of these young guys like Andrew Luck to pop again. I, I, I think there's a larger narrative going on that the media is just not looking at. Because I, I think if, if the media took a step back, and looked at all of 2016 and just understood what's going on globally and here domestically in America, the upheaval and, and the, the, the unrest that's going on in America, and this hyper-progressive movement that has lurched into sports and changed the conversation about sports. And so if you just take your eyes off the NFL and just look what's going on in sports TV, so much of the conversation is inconsistent with the values of sports culture. I don't, I'm, I'm gonna say it until I'm blue in the face, sports culture is conservative and religious. And we turn conservative into a curse word in this country, and it's just not. It, the, the conversation about sports, all of 2006, and been long before then, but it's starting to have ramifications now inconsistent with the values of sports culture, and we're turning off our base, our base of support, the people that coach peewee football, the people that participate in peewee football, all the way through, we're making them uncomfortable by inviting in all these people that really don't care about sports, don't love sports, they have a political agenda, and they're leading the conversation about sports, and it's turning people off. That's why I think you're, if you look at the NFL and how it relates to the NFL, local ratings for teams are about consistent. The national ratings are down significantly. People still watch their local team because it's been their habit, but nationally they're a little less interested in the NFL, and I think all sports, because we've turned sports into something that's just not. 